Hey, what's up? This is Kevin from Kevin's Barbecue Joints, and I'm really excited to bring you this interview with Philip Mollering. I'm probably butchering his name. Maybe it's Mollering. He's the man with, if you're watching this on YouTube, with the awesome beard. <laughs> Not me, who doesn't have a beard at the time. He is from Brick Vault Brewery and Barbecue in Marathon, Texas. It's in the Gage Hotel. This one's awesome. It, number one, Marathon is a place you should visit. And after listening to this, I guarantee you're going to want to visit. You're going to want to visit the barbecue place. You're going to have beer. But you're also going to want to visit the hotel, the hotel grounds, all around Marathon. Because of what's going on in the world, I think it's important, and I know it's important, and everyone knows it's important, to slow down, to, to give your brain a chance to remove itself from the big city or the big life or everything that's going on and slow down and kind of almost go in reverse. And that's what Philip talks about. He talks all about the food that they have, the incredible barbecue, and you'll see the photos. If you see the YouTube, you'll see it. I'll put links below. But check them out on Instagram. Their food looks fantastic. They're huge on my list to go visit. And then after this now, I just want to go stay. And also, too, a good recommendation that he gives, they're booking up. Because people are feeling more free to do stuff, they are booking up like crazy. And they're, at certain times, 95% capacity. So if you want to go visit and you want to stay at their hotel, I would recommend looking online and booking right now because it's going to sell out. There's also, he talks about Airbnbs and different things around them, too. But wouldn't it be great to have barbecue, beer, and stay in the hotel right there, just on the ground? They also have a coffee shop now. They have a great bar that he discussed that's rad. And then he has, they also have a different restaurant on site. They just have a lot of opportunities to enjoy yourself, food, beverage, and visiting-wise. I can't thank Philip enough for taking the time. He's worked there at the Gage Hotel for 11 years, so super knowledgeable. They have a 1,000-gallon mill-scale pit. He talks about other mill-scale things that they're getting. We talk about the mill-scale guys. It's a really great interview. He's a super nice guy. I definitely think that this will be on your list of places to visit. And the Kevin's Barbecue Noise podcast and YouTube show is brought to you by Centex Smokers. They're out of Luling, Texas, another Texas place. Pit Boulder. Go to Centex underscore smokers on Instagram. Ah, amazing stuff and he's keeps putting out new stuff and i keep saying send me a list but he said he puts out something new and i'm like i didn't even know that was coming his craftsmanship his finishes just the quality of work he's been doing this since he was a child and he really knows what he's doing and he's getting into his stride so i would give him a dm get a quote he's about four to five months out but check with him for sure it's centex smokers and if you're enjoying these please subscribe that way you don't miss out Hit the bell notification too, that way I come into your feed. I put about two or three of these out per week. I have a website at kevinsbbqjoints.com. But at the end, stay safe. We're getting closer. Have a good week. Good afternoon, Phil. How you doing? Good, good. How are you? Do you go by Philip or Phil? It, it doesn't matter. It's the same. I mean, <laughs> Phil's fine. Philip, it all, it, there's no difference. How are things going? It's good. I mean, we're, we're getting back to some, somewhat of normalcy once the second vaccination came out and People are doing a little bit more traveling, so that's that's helping us here at the... When COVID hit, like, started to hit, like, March... Like, in Texas, it seemed like March, April-ish, more... It, it, was, it was about the third week of March last year that it really hit us. Did you shut the hotel down? The hotel had to shut down for seven weeks. Wow. But we still tried to stay afloat by doing to-go service over here at the barbecue spot. It hit all of us. You know, ob you know, obviously, not only Texas, but the whole United States, but it hit us pretty bad. And But we were able to, you know, stay afloat and keep operation running somewhat would you be considered a town in marathon or is it a city we like wouldn't a... even be considered a town i mean we're, there's only 450 residents in the town of marathon okay wow <laughs> yeah it, we're, we're, we're pretty small so so b being a destination type place For it, sure. it hits you even harder and that how did you oh, did you guys just do tons of to-go business we did a lot of to-go business thank god we had you know other towns around us that really like to support our barbecue so you know like alpine for uh, Fort Davis, Fort Stockton, people came over to support us, you know, during this yeah. time, you know, it was all to go, but you know, it's still, it, it kept us afloat. And, yeah. And could you guys do yeah. beer to go too? Is that something that you guys we did? We did. We, we did growlers to go and that helped too. You know, it, it kept our brewer, you know, rocking and rolling. She, she had a, she had a good time, you know, you know, she was still playing with our new system that we had just gotten and she was able to, you know, really fine tune and hone in on some of the things that she was working on too. So it gave us so some time to really hone in on what she was doing, but also what we were, you know, working on for the future type stuff. So it was, it was a good, it was good fun. And, good and bad. Good and bad. I mean, there, there were some things that we, we got accomplished that, that we might not have normally got to since, you know, we, we, because we were, we were rocking and rolling, man. I mean, this place was, you know, it being a destination and last year was a good year pre COVID. Uh, people were traveling, but I think it, it's coming back. I mean, yeah, people yeah. are starting to come back out to the park and, 
and that's our biggest attraction is Big Bend National Park. And that's the majority of our business. And so people are starting to, you know, get out more. And so people that know how special <laughs> what you have is. We're, we're definitely a destination in regards to, we're about an hour from Marfa, uh, our little town of Marathon. It's, it's small, 450 people, but we are the gateway of the Big Bend. Okay. So we are the, the last town you're going to stop in if you're going into Big Bend on the east entrance. So on the east entrance, we, uh, on the east entrance. So we're right there, you know, and, and people stop in, you know, not only at our hotel, but also at our barbecue spot and some of our other restaurants. They're either going to start their trip into Big Bend with us or end it. And we're, we're about 58 miles from headquarters of Big Bend. So it, it's not that far of a drive. How beautiful is Big Bend? It, it, it's gorgeous. I mean, there, there are no words to do justice on how okay. pretty Big Ben is. It's been on the top of my list, like top three and so for so long. Man, I've never, it, I've there, never. There's so, what's, what's great about the park is there's so much terrain that you you wouldn't even think that is out there you know there, there's there, there's so many different aspects of the park that one might not be able to see on one trip i mean that you might sense. be down there for three days and, and you still will not see it all there's uh tree-lined areas but then there's places that look like the moon like it seems it's Man, so diverse there, there, there are so many dis- different aspects of the park that that is just amazing I wish people had more time out here because, you know, it is hard getting out here. Closer to El Paso, right? Well, we're about three hours from El Paso, but we're two and a half from Midland. So, okay, so we're still a trip for people to get out here. So, so say you were in Austin, because I was doing some mapping last night. So say you're yeah, in Austin yeah, yeah. or you're in San Antonio, how long would it take to get you? Uh, Austin's about five and a half hours. You know, you can you can get here from San Antonio in five if you go I-10. Yeah. But there, there's two ways from San Antonio that you can get here. You can go I-10 or 90. Okay. Uh, 90s is a more scenic route, but, uh, you know, it, it's, it's still a little trek to get out here. But it's also, too, it's like it's closer from Los Angeles to San Francisco. So it's people make that drive a lot. They, or, oh, or, for, sure, for sure. And so it's something it's it's a worthwhile destination. And because you have a hotel, you can come visit and stay at a hotel. So let's talk about the Gage Hotel. And, and how old is the hotel? The original hotel was built in 1927. Wow. The owner, JP, he bought it in 1978 as a like a restore project his uh it was it was funny he bought it for thirty thousand dollars because his wife was tired of uh not having electricity down there at the ranch <laughs> and uh he'll, he'll he'll tell you you know it was she was she was very upset why did you buy that awful thing <laughs> and and that's his you know and then he took it took him about five years to restore it to you know not to what it is today but the main hotel yeah and we opened the doors in 1982, and then ever since then we, we've slowly done a lot of remodeling over there. We've added a we, we have a, a bar, a restaurant. We have a coffee bar now. We have a store. We are um, we expanded. We, we now have a spa. So we are uh. re- we are really trying to make this more of a destination resort style. And it seems property. like so it's so there's the Gage Hotel, and then are there other like adjoining properties that all connected to the gate under the Gage umbrella, or because it looked under like under the Gage the, umbrella, you know. If the town of Marathon has one strip, and you know it's, it's Highway 90, but you know we have our barbecue spot, and then we have our shop. It, it's it's pretty much the main strip is the Gage Hotel, and, and we are uh, under. I mean, we have some off-property houses that we also rent out, but we're also in the uh, process of expanding another eight to ten more rooms. How many rooms are right now? Do you know? We have 46 rooms. And you said off camera, how many? You've worked there for 11 years. 11 years, yeah. What did you start doing there? Uh, actually, I started here when I was getting my MBA. Just, you know, doing night audit stuff. And then when I finished my MBA, that's when I started got into the operations side of the hotel, the food and beverage side. And then I went to, you know, overall hotel operations. And then that's when we had the, you know, opportunity to purchase this building that we are in now. And kind of, you know, my focus then started to turn toward barbecue, which I've always had a passion about. And, you know, we finally thought about it like, you know, this is, this is something that can strive in Marathon and out here. Because at the time, there was no barbecue in West Texas. I mean, there, there's a couple of really good places up the road. But, you know, other than that, other than getting some chain barbecue, there was nothing out here. And us being so passionate about, you know, the quality of, you know, beer and barbecue, mm-hmm. it kind of fit hand in hand. What came first? Did you guys oh, did you guys set up the – because that, that was an old was an old bank? Is that what it was? So, so the original building was an old mercantile building. Okay. And in 1927, it burned down. And but the only thing existing was the old vault, and that's why we call ourselves the brick vault because that's the only structure that was still ah, after okay. the fire. And then it got turned into an old gas station, an old gold filling station. 
Okay. And then eventually, you know, there was a couple of restaurants in here until we finally got in here and, you know, we, we it took a lot of restoration. We gutted it and kind of set it up the way it is now. Was that a fun project? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. You're being honest. Like, usually people are like, oh, that's you know, the greatest. You know, it, I love it. <laughs> no. It, that's it, was, uh, it was a lot of hard work, but, yeah. you know, we're happy with w- the way it looks now. Yeah, no, from everything I've seen, it looks gorgeous. So it's got outdoor seating and indoor seating, right? Yeah, we have indoor seating. We have a shuffleboard table. We, our brewery is inside. Our, our patio is our, our main attraction for sure. You know, yeah. especially if, if, if the weather cooperates for you out here it is, it's so pretty out here uh, and it's a yeah it's a and it's it seems like a place that you just want to sit have a beer have barbecue and just slow your brain down for a while and the pace out here in west texas is really slow so it, it, it's, it's perfect for people that want to get away uh it's just like i, I want to be there i wish we were doing this in person because it really yeah, makes, it, makes me yeah, kind of angry pretty, <laughs> you got a pretty day today too this is like the perfect time pretty day today it probably gets hot during the summer right but just like texas yeah, does, june right? july gets a little hot but it's it's a dry heat i mean it's it's nothing it's not too crazy it's like California. i mean people yeah, say right. you know well now if you go into the park you are going to get 101 102 degrees but you know, just be sure to hydrate. Hydrate, wear a bandana on your back, your neck, and make yeah, sure you're, you're fine. You're fine. <laughs> Sunblock, yeah. you're good. Yeah. So, how long has the barbecue component? How long has that been open? The restaurant itself so? since 2018. And then, did you guys get offsets from? Did you build them, or did you get them from someone? I so we had an offset built by a gentleman in Dallas, but we, we used it for maybe one or two months, and we at that point we knew we couldn't push out enough product. I mean, we and so we reached out to Matt and Caleb of Millscale, and okay, that Millscale. they built us. Yeah, they, they they built us a thousand gallon Milsco. They they do pretty good stuff, right? <laughs> they're the best, man. They they're hands down the uh, the best. And good dudes. And they're, too. they're great guys too. Yeah, you know, yeah. Working with them, and we we've got some of their other equipment that we use in our restaurant next door. That and we also have a table. We we have their open fire table. We we're getting a Santa Maria. We we have a lot of stuff coming from them, and and their work is prestige. It is yeah. top notch. And they're, yeah, they've always been so kind to like this guy from Cal, random guy in California that writes them all the time. They're so nice. Yeah. It's, yeah, that guy I even no, talked to they, him they, yesterday. They're, the, they're very genuine, very yeah. nice people. And it's nice to do business with people like that. People that you know and the people that, that you know, really appreciate the craft and, mm-hmm. and the art to it, you know. The, and care about really honed just, in on what they're doing. Mm-hmm. I, th- I appreciate that with anything. Anybody that puts the time and effort into something, I think that's... It, that passion that's i think that's what they're, we're they're, all trying. passion that they hold that, that you hold in what, what you're pushing out too so mm-hmm. to have that same camaraderie and what you really want to produce and there's there's just a appreciation they're not just in it to make a buck they're, they're in it to do what they're passionate about and have something know? that lasts like a legacy almost that's gonna outlive <laughs> all that's what we're gonna outlive me so. <laughs> it'll outlive so. me too I know. It's, yeah. so, it's funny sometimes i'll think about it. i'm like well this will happen in like 40 years i'm like well I'll Probably won't be here. For years. Yeah, I won't be here. <laughs> Chances. So let's so let's yeah. talk about your menu. And has the menu stayed the same since day like since you know we uh, it, it stayed the same. But what what we we toy around with was is uh, you know different different kind of sausages every week. You know we're we're really trying to up our you know side game because I, I think everybody in the barbecue world now, in my opinion, you know people are their their proteins are are they're, they're some of the top barbecue places around that their proteins are so spot on. I think now we have to kind of innovate something different. And so that's why we're trying to work a lot on our sides in regards to, you know, what, what can we do a little different than what other people aren't doing, but also keeping it still, you know, kind of homey, mm-hmm. just original, but maybe with a little different twist. And we've been working on that for a couple of weeks now, and we're about to, you know, push that out pretty soon. Do you want, if you want to talk about any of them, or are they, are they a secret? Oh, they're, they're nothing <laughs> secret. <laughs> this part I'm just I'm getting okay. no, yeah, yeah, let's, we're, just, let's we're, talk we're about it. A little bit more of a more of a healthier option rather than your just your, you know your heavy sides like a macaroni and cheese and your, you know mayonnaise huge mayonnaise based potato salad. We're gonna try to go a little bit more of a, you know a vegetable okay. two, two more vegetable like based you know, but you know we're gonna smoke some things and put it out there. That's fun. That's and fun. we've also been uh, toying around with uh, we've been using our the old vault as an old, kind of like a smoke shack. Oh. And so we we we've, we've been making our own bacon in there. Huh. So we're we're gonna start. Mapping that up with our brunch menu on Sundays that we're about to launch. That's cool too. Okay. Well, the, and and the hours are they are they Thursday through? Because I even though I, we'll get to that at the end. It's is it Thursday yeah, through sure. Sunday or Wednesday? Because I saw something that's it, Wednesday. So 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 we, we we added Wednesday the last two weeks just for spring okay. break for you know so, so people could have a place to eat out here. Understood. You know, there's not very many places between here and the park to eat, so we wanted to at least give some you know the people that are visiting the park a place to eat. You know, 
we're, we're, we're more than happy to, you know, feed people, especially out here. When, but generally, as a rule, is it going to be Thursday through Sunday? It's going to be Thursday through Sunday, yeah. Uh, during vacation times or times that you think might make sense, you might pop we, a, a Wednesday. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll crank it up. We, you know, we'll add a Wednesday or we'll even, you know, and that's another thing with, we've been getting a lot more catering business too. Oh, so, nice. you know, we've kind of also got to keep our staff happy and not overwork them and that way they're not, you know, killing themselves. Yeah, because it is a little bit of work. Like people don't realize they're not just yeah, slapping yeah. burgers on a grill. It's, yeah, it's, just, it's definitely not just flipping burgers. Yeah. Yeah, the people that listen and watch this understand that completely. But the people that are yeah. showing up and saying, like, how come you're sold out of this? Yeah, like, I mean, we, we get that so much out here. And, and you know, and, and there's some people that really, you know, appreciate, like, you know, the 14, 15 hour cooks. Mm -hmm. But there's some people that don't really, you know, don't know the whole details of barbecue. Yeah. And they're like, oh, why aren't you all open you know but <laughs> it happens it happens everywhere it's gonna happen yeah there's you can't stop that that's not something no, you can't stop that and 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 in a perfect world could we be open seven days a week yes i mean but are you gonna have it, it I, I think it's gonna take it back from the quality of being no. i just and we would never do that you have to be a certain kind of machine i think to make a seven day a week or a time like like a, like, sure. like a Terry Blacks or something that kind of does like they're they where you can three where you, shifts and you going also on. have the manpower. I mean, we, we live in a town of 450 people, so yeah. we, we've got to yeah, we, we've got to you know outsource and get our yeah. our staff from other places. But this could be a really fun summer for you because everyone's got this pent up desire just to get the heck out of town. Man, people are ready. Man, we see it now just in the tick up in in occupancy in our hotel now. I was going to ask, how was that? You seeing some? Oh, we, we see it now. It's it's here. I mean, we, we, we normally run at a 75 to 80% occupancy. There, we're, we're probably at 95 now. Wow. E, 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 in, our, in our peak months, you yeah, know, yeah. especially right now. But, you know, even during our summer months where we where we would dip dip down to 50%, we're already at 78%. And, wow. and, then, and we still got a couple months that people have the opportunity to book. Wow. It's almost so, like I, didn't, I want a book just to have, just have a yeah, plan. Yeah. And, and our suggestion to our guests now is please book three to four months out. So if you're watching this and you want, and it's in the back of your mind, I think I might go out to Marathon or go out to Big Bend and you want to stay there, do it, book now. That's a good, it's I a good advice. It, I, mean, I would do it now just so you can ensure that you have room yeah. with us. I mean, I mean and, there, and this town has, you know, some Airbnbs that are really nice too. You know, we're, we're, we want to, you know, share the wealth every, all within this town. I mean, we're so small. We want people to not only enjoy marathon, but also the park. So if you're not staying with us, I mean, just come to the town and, and yeah. enjoy some food and, and, you know, take a, take a deep breath and step back and, you know, rewind. Yeah. Now, that's what I feel West Texas is about. Mm -hmm. It's not about, you know, the, you know, let's go, let's go do this. Let's go do this. You're, you're really out here to, you know, recharge your batteries, mm -hmm. you know? And then that's, that's definitely what we pride ourselves on at the gauge and here and marathon you know it's it's so laid back very you know time slowed down out here i, I feel from, and, I th from, you know, and i think that this is like and that's why another reason why i wanted to talk to you is because i think we all need that like my brain is so like scrambled and i think that it'd be important to just you know even two or three days just to change you, you can definitely thinking. recharge your batteries out here yeah. and, and and that's what I, I feel even some of the friends that i have from back home they come out here and they're like wow i love it out here how do you I mean, there's nothing to do out here. I mean, how do you keep saying? I was like, you can keep saying because how, how slow things are. You know, it's, it's yeah. nice. Well, you said, well, look at look at you. You've been there for 11 years, and yeah, yeah. if it was, if it wasn't something that made sense in your soul, you wouldn't have done that for, for sure. 11 years. For sure. Definitely. Yeah, I agree with you 100%. Yeah. So what sausages, you said you're into making sausages. Do you have one that's that a standard one all the time and then you play around? or? So, so, so we have one. You know, we, we have our, our, you know, our normal you know, regular house sausage, and then we also do a jalapeno cheddar. That, that, that will be on the menu at all times. At all times, okay. But, but we also, you know, we've been playing, out, playing around with uh, like a beef and garlic. We've also done like a queso flamiato that we've been oh, playing cool. around with. We've been doing some, I mean, it, 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 it kind of confuses people when we say it's a loaded baked potato sausage we put everything that you would think that would be in a, in a loaded baked potato into the sausage and we stuff it and it's it's probably one of my favorite sausages but people i've never are heard of that confused. one that's a cool one that's a good idea people get kind of confused by it because they're like so it's a baked potato with sausage i was like no flip it around <laughs> we, we stuff everything in that casing and it's so good it's like essentially you're saying like when you bite into it you're getting the same experience you're, you're, you're gonna get some potato cheese bacon some 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 green onions yeah. and some you know you know obviously pork and beef but it's it's good. Uh, that's uh, awesome. We, we we have done we have played around with some, uh, you know, Nepalese and Asadero cheese. You know, just you know, just to kind of keep it you know West Texas feel. Mm -hmm. You know, 
Yeah. That's awesome. so, so, I mean, we've been playing around with a lot of stuff, and, and we try to change it up every week just to, you know, not only work on what, what we like, but also, you know, see what, you know, see what other people like. Yeah, yeah. Do you guys incorporate beer into anything you do, or is it more of a pairing? We do. So all of our desserts, other than our banana pudding, it's all made with beer. Okay. Our beans, we use our uh, uh, Captain Shepard's porter. We use our porter in our beans. Oh, nice. We have done a couple uh, bratwurst with, with beer. You know, I mean, yeah, we, I mean, we use it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, not, it's, not on a, it's not on the menu at all times. But it's an opportunity, yeah. What, sure. what, what beers do you guys do? How do you guys usually have about six... So, so we have six beers, but 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 that's why we we might keep like two or three staple beers on it at all times, just due to popularity, and we want to kind of keep it standard. But she's always you know changing changing it up. She, she has opportunity. We we gave her free range, and she's the best. Nice. I mean, she, she's probably one of the better brewers in the state of Texas. I, I think hands down. That's what's her name? She's Amy Oxlam. Like she okay. uh, she actually brewed at Big Ben Brewery before it. Uh, Oh, nice. Before before it shut down. Nice. Yeah, okay. she's great. Are you are you in like eye shot of the of the menu? Can you see the what beers you guys have right yeah. now? Or, or just at least, yeah. I'd, I'd be curious to know what. She has a Vienna lager. She has a like a that well, it's more like a fruit base, a honey blonde ale, a pecan porter, and then she has these two that she did for uh, Women's History Month. It's like a, a hopped IPA, and that's just an ale, right. American pale ale. See that's and that's what's so cool is that you can have a really really filling barbecue meal. You could have beer and then stay at the hotel. <laughs> like it's like a, to me, that sounds ideal. Yeah, you got the trifecta. I mean, you can you can enjoy yourself and and you can also you know you can go to the hotel. You know you you, you can you can have barbecue with us one night and go go eat a good good meal at the restaurant too. What's what is the restaurant at the hotel called? It's called the Twelve Gauge Restaurant. Twelve Gauge. Is it's it? more of a fine dining. It's more of a steakhouse. Like yeah, a cuisine. Yeah. That's like a cool. fine dining with Texas cuisine. Oh, yeah. So, so you know, not only are we trying to appeal to, you know, our clientele, but, you know, maybe you don't, you know, want to have barbecue three days in a row. You can go. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I couldn't eat barbecue three days in a row, but maybe somebody could. I don't know. Yeah. No, I'm sure there's plenty of people. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. But it's, it is nice to mix it up. And it also, too, I'm sure are people stopping at the coffee place just to, on the way to Big Ben? For sure. Uh, our coffee shop is it's busy in the mornings. Awesome. And it's good coffee. I mean, uh, we get all of our coffee local from Marfa, so from Big Ben Coffee Roasters, and we, people love it. It's good coffee. That's awesome. What are the hours for the restaurant? Is it it's, it's Thursday through Sunday? What? So so, so our, our hours over here are five to nine on Friday, and oh. I mean Thursday and Friday, and then Saturday we open up at noon to nine, and then Sunday we're noon to five. And generally, noon. are you selling out most days? Like a oh, yeah, show? yeah, we do sell out. I would say the only day that we our kind of our slower days were probably Thursdays. Okay. But you know, but because you know, you have people that are traveling that are coming out here after work on Fridays, you know, trying to enjoy the weekend. But, yeah. but, but all the other days we, we generally sell out. And it's all walk up business. It's not you can't order an app or something or. No sir. No, sir. Yeah, it's all walk up business. <laughs> no, I would I would hope not. <laughs> but you need, yeah. It it depends, and but it makes sense too. You want to have the people there. You want to be able to enjoy. For sure, we want them to enjoy the patio. That I mean, and and if people you know still want to social distance, you're definitely capable of doing that on our patio okay nice. you know, and then that's why we kind of we're grateful for having that big of a patio you know especially during this time yeah you know and even if you're yeah. like you still it's it, you could space yourself just in general just it's nice to be not on top of other people in general it's, yeah for yeah. sure for sure that you're not you're not packed sardines in a little bitty spot yeah, yeah so is there anything else about the hotel or the restaurant that we haven't talked about that you want people to know about i'm trying to think of anything else that i mean we do have probably one of the nicer bars in the tri-county area we call it tri-county which is you know fort davis marfa alpine terlingua okay it's called the white buffalo bar we, we have an, an old white buffalo mount in that bar oh really it's, it's it's cool it died of natural causes we actually got to have a museum in wyoming oh. and so that's kind of iconic to the hotel and that's it that's in bar. the hotel itself yeah that's in the main hotel oh. itself yeah when I was looking online, and this maybe is just because I was like tired, uh, there's like hacienda. Are there different kind of, or you could like, di- there's four different styles of rooms or something? Or that so, so there's four different styles. We have our main hotel, yeah. which is the old 1927 building, but we also have, we call it Los Portales, and those are like little casitas. Okay. And we have 20 rooms out there. They're little old Santa Fe adobe style houses. Oh, cool. that's cool. But then we also have a Captain Shepherd's house. The Captain Shepherd's house is an old plantation home. That, that we restored in 2012 
and it was the original home of the founder of Marathon. Oh. That's why we call it Abrani Shepherd. And there's a little carriage house in the back. Uh, that houses, you know, there's five rooms and two rooms in the back. Oh. But then we also have, you know, three or four different houses on property. Okay, that's what uh, it is. And a majority of our uh, another majority of our business come from our wedding business that we do out here. Since it's such a destination wedding, we do a lot of weddings out here. Oh, okay. Well, so that, well, we, that's, we have that's a twenty-seven acre garden. We have a twenty-seven acre garden that's like prestige. It, it's one of the nicest oases out here, and it's green all the time because we put a we dump a lot of <laughs> <laughs> water, a lot of money in that thing. But yeah. No, but it also too. So you're you're saying so what you're saying too is if you come to enjoy barbecue and stay there, you could roam the grounds and you, just you can groom the grounds. You you can take our barbecue, take it to go and go have a picnic over there in the gardens and, and that's it, cool. It that's be, a good idea. Yeah. Oh yeah. Huh. I mean, we we suggest it to people. You know, if, if they don't want to, you know, be you know sardines inside this little. I mean, I say it's little in this small restaurant, and if the patio is too, you know, over overpopulated for your liking yeah. you know if, if you're not comfortable we suggest people how about we just pack it up for you to go and you can go over to the gardens nice. and, and and we want people to enjoy the gardens because you know there's a little putting green over there we want people to that's be nice. outside enjoy yourself i mean you're in west texas you might as well be outside so that's that's essentially that's a takeaway from this is come to west texas and enjoy yourself and enjoy, and enjoy outside. Your, yeah. yeah yeah be outside i mean don't, don't be you know, I mean, you have the park right there. The, the, the park is in our back pocket, so you might as well utilize it while you're out here. Yeah. I saw that there's some trails or something close by, too, or there are some oh, there's trails? Some trails. Uh, we also have a, the Post Park. It's only, you know, five miles, and there's a little trail out there. It's kind of cool. It has a, it's a little it's a little spring. There's a couple trails out there. That's cool. But there's plenty of trails in the park that you can hike. That's, you know, majority of the business down there that's going to the park or going for hiking. Number one, once things calm down here in Los Angeles and I get my mom to, to safety, I I, de- yeah. I definitely want to come out because this is just like where you, where you are is ideal and I've wanted to visit you guys forever. Yeah, and, and you can, there's so many things that you can hit while you're out here that it, it, people are like, oh, it's an hour away, but an hour away on an open stretch of highway where you have Beautiful. mountains right to your right and to your left, it's not as bad as being in traffic for an hour. No. <laughs> and, and, you know, and, and that's another thing that people don't understand. Like, you know, it's just it's so ideal. You know, oh, Marfa's an hour away. Are you sure you want to go over there? It's just get in your car and go. I mean, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. I mean, you, you have something to look at. You have the wildlife to look at, which is could be a little dangerous at night because there are elk and there are mule deer and javelinas. <laughs> but, you know, throughout the day, you have mountains on your right, mountains on your left. Yeah. And it's just it's pretty scenery to look at. Yeah, and before you make up your mind about whether you're not you should go, you're already halfway there. So like, yeah, for sure. There. So yeah, you're halfway there, and you're like, you know what, this isn't that bad of a drive. Yeah. yeah. Well, cool, Phil. Thank you so much for taking the time. Oh, this yeah. is awesome. Well, hey, man, it was it was good talking to you, man. Great talking to you. Have a good week.